Indianapolis, Indiana, raised here in Anchorage, Alaska. I've been homeschooled throughout high school for four years. During my sophomore year, I attended Family Partnership Charter School, where I graduated in 2005. Then two months later, I entered into UAA. I'm graduating this spring with a Bachelor of Liberal Studies degree with a primary concentration of women's studies and a secondary concentration of education. The definition of homeschooling is a form of education in which the parents are the primary educators for their children. The term was coined by John Holt, an educational pioneer during the 1960s through the mid-1970s. He's one of the co-founders of the modern homeschooling movement. He's an author of a bi-monthly magazine called Wrong Without Schooling in 1977. He originally called the homeschooling unschooling, which means it doesn't look like school learning or home learning. The history of homeschooling takes place during the 1700s, where it used to be known as a primary form of education. During the 1970s, it was an estimate of 13,000 K-12 students in the United States. During the 1980s, the religious and secular leaders considered homeschooling as the best alternative form of education. But today, it's now legal in the United States with an estimate of 2 million students in grades K through 12. In the midst of reality, the first myth, homeschooling produces misfits, which lacks social skills needed to function in society. While in reality, it is a misunderstanding what homeschooling is really all about. The second myth, homeschooling fails to prepare the students to become good citizens in which they are isolated from society. But in reality, it centers on students' positive interests as an individual and as a whole society. There in the third myth, homeschoolers have difficulty entering into college, which means they're going through the process without a high school diploma, grades, and SAT or ACT scores. But in reality, they are provided with admission requirements and financial aid. While the fourth myth, homeschooling is only religious families only. But in reality, it appeals not only to religion, but also to diverse cultures, ethnic origins, social classes, and political values. The reasons why parents choose homeschooling is not only because of religion, but because of better education, financial problems, cannot afford tuition for schools, transportation distance, health problems, careers, disability and special needs, and other reasons. As I reflect on my personal experience of being homeschooled, my father had a health-related problem and the financial, there was financial issues, and the tuition was high that year, which meant I wasn't able to go back to English Christian school. For homeschoolers entering into higher education, College reps attend conferences to talk with the students and the parents. They conduct workshops and orientations. As I reflect on my experience of entering into higher education, I was recommended to take the Accuplacer test weeks before I graduated high school. But weeks before I attended UAA, I also attended the orientation. We look at the disadvantages challenges of homeschool and state regulations include state standards are made with limited resources, local school district personnel are delegate, delegated, and the state does not worry about the child's health or educational well-being. But with the adoption of the compulsory attendance laws, there's a historic conflict between the government requirements and the parents' fundamental rights of the child's education. In terms of my personal reflection, it was well paced. I worked at my own pace. The lesson plans were thorough. 
I maintained a close relationship with my parents. The periods of adjustments, there was student instructor interactions, not only face to face with my parents, but also with online instructors. Technological use required internet access, which meant I had to use email and instant messenger to communicate with my online instructors. <clears throat> but during the 2004 graduation, 2004 I took part of the graduation committee <coughs> for the senior class of, at Family Partnership Charter School, which I was volunteer tasked, I was told to hand out graduation announcements and serve cake and punch after the ceremony. And as coordinator during 2005 graduation, the process was the same, which also meant I also had to include juniors to volunteer as well. I would like to give special thanks to Dr. Ann Jackie, my academic advisor, professor, for helping me with this project and to give me some major feedback and to my fellow Capstone students for also helping me in peer reviewing my presentation. And to my parents, Gladys, who's in the audience. And I thank you so much for being my teacher and giving me all the love and moral support. I couldn't have done it without you. And to my father, Joseph Stokes. <coughs> Although he's not here today in body, but he's here in my heart and in, in spirit forever.